Allison, everyone, put your hands together, get screaming, get cheering for Lucy Poop! <laughs> hotel room and he's just returning at 3am from having taken both his and your clothes to the 24 hour laundry service. <laughs> you uh, think, well I've had a couple of hours of bed on my own and uh, clean pants in the morning. He's a king <laughs> It's in the pub the other day by myself. A guy comes up to me and asks whether I've been ghosted or dumped or something. I said no! We're allowed out on our own these days. <laughs> but I'm not going to say to me that having a chaperone wouldn't come in handy from time to time. <laughs> Went on Bumble the other day, which is something that I do once a month when I'm ovulating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying I want to procreate. Just try telling my body that. <laughs> I set my age range for roughly 35 to 55 if I'm feeling generous, which should give you a rougher indication of my age and or daddy slash Edible issues. <laughs> Depending on how good you think I look. I don't know why I keep staring at Jimmy. <laughs> Something I've noticed recently, a lot of guys in their late 40s, early 50s, in the box that says, want children, I'm not sure yet. So either they think they're Charlie Chaplin, or they've got some serious thinking to do. Charlie Chaplin famously had children into his 90s, and don't get me wrong, I too probably could have procreated with the nonagenarian Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> But perhaps not Dave from Stockholm. I like to play a game on Bumble, uh, how many messages until I receive an unsolicited dick pic. Although since they've recently made this illegal, I've had to adapt my game to how many messages until I receive a may I send you a dick pic. <laughs> to which I like to respond with photographs of my vagina. Fashion <laughs> out of household objects. <laughs> I like to think of the two seconds of potential arousal before he notices the chicken did it. <laughs> I'm just joking, of course. I'm a vegetarian. I can place the chicken fillet with a portobello mushroom. <laughs> Went out for dinner with my friend the other day. He ordered the octopus. I said, I don't know how people can eat octopus. They're so intelligent. To which he replied, 
But it's not so clever now, is it? <laughs> I like to practice my comedy down spoons. The reason for this is threefold. One, they don't play music, so it's relatively quiet. Two, drinking in an establishment owned by someone as politically and ethically dubious as Tim Martin really exercises one's capacity for cognitive dissonance, a skill <laughs> finding increasingly useful in scenarios such as this. And three, <laughs> Nobody bats an eye, but yet another person talking to themselves. <laughs> I have a little question for you to ponder on. If you answer a question right, a university challenge, but there's nobody there to hear you, <laughs> are you still clever? <laughs> Thank you very much.